Louisiana, Donnie Derwin Electrical Service specializes in electrical design and custom lighting. Donnie Derwin professionals have more than a quarter century of experience. For commercial electrical contracting, call Donnie Derwin, the electrical professionals. Back at block of just 2.17 to go. The Cajuns have watched leads at one time or another in this game of 11 points and 9 points and 7 points slip away time and time again and Stetson now has converted with some tough defense and continuously taking the ball inside on the Cajuns and have a two point lead with 2.15 to go Tom you have to give Stetson credit you know, it seemed like they switched their game plan up just a little bit at half to get uh, Myrick underneath quite a bit more because of the mismatch in size, not so much height, but in, uh, in weight. And it seems to have been effective for him and now have put him, you know, put him in a two-point advantage with under two minutes to play. The Cajuns desperately need a basket now. Stetson is shooting 76% in the second half. 13 of 17 shots from the field. That's why they've got a two-point lead, because those shots have come very, very close. Inside, Warner to the bucket, up and in. Nice that was a good job. Good patience. They worked hard. Graylin made his move, got him off balance, and went up. This thing is going to go down to the wire. Pascal says it's time for defense. Wilkes wants a timeout. The Stetson coach will map his strategy more than obviously for a last second shot. 1.19 to go, we're tied at 69. And we'll be right back after we take another short timeout. For today's families, life insurance to help meet today's needs and tomorrow's goals. For today's woman who needs a life insurance plan of her own. For today's homeowner to help pay off a mortgage and keep a home in the family. Life insurance for your way of living. Your State Farm agent can help you plan it today. In Lafayette, see Mike Daigle, Walter Romero, Gabe Kemmerdell, and Gene Fortier. Helping Lafayette grow creatively. Flag Development Company. The Acadiana First Investment. It's an investment that lets you earn interest rates as good as those offered by out-of-state money funds while letting you keep your money here in Acadiana, where it can help keep our economy strong. And if that weren't reason enough, it offers you two additional incentives that the money funds can't. Federal insurance and 24-hour day access to your investment at any Acadiana location. The Acadiana First Investment. It's another first idea from First National Bank of Lafayette. Expected. Let us run down again the folks that are helping to bring you these telecasts. Pete Nicolosi and Associates, Donnie Derwin Electric, First National Bank, Evangelo Downs, Duke Transportation, Budweiser, Acadian Toyota, State Farm Insurance, Giles Volkswagen, Porsche, Audi, Acadiana Bottling, Acadiana Rubber and Gasket, E.R. Desormo Incorporated, Flag Development Corporation, F. Camello Menswear, Bob Fournette Company, Brothers, Sound Electronics, Delta Furniture, The Keg, Abdallah's, Orleans Oil, and Fritz Burger. All those folks bringing the USL basketball tape replays from Blackham and some selected road games live over the course of the season. A minute 19 to go, we're tied at 69, and if we had to assess this one, we'd prob I'd probably have to guess that Stetson will run the clock down and try and take it inside at about the 10 second mark. Well, I don't think they'll be in any hurry to get off a shot. The worst they could do is have an overtime on the road, and so I'm sure they don't want the Cajuns to have another opportunity to get off a shot. So as you say, they'll take a layup or the, the, you know, the real high percentage shot underneath, but I don't believe they'll be looking to do anything else but to get it underneath. We'll watch it and see what happens. A minute eight to go. Screens and picks inside the Nims. They're trying to get a screen on the baseline and get it to one of the big guys underneath. A minute to play. Warner way out top on Burnell. Down under a minute. Cadence applying good pressure man to man. 
44 seconds to play. Myrick now on Allen. Around it goes. The Hatters will look inside and run it down for the last shot. I don't believe either team would like a foul one way or the other right now. 24 seconds. It, they may work it down and get another timeout and set up that last shot. Down to 15. 15 seconds to play. Coach wants time. Here it comes. Here's the play. They're trying to get, coach is trying to get a timeout, but nobody sees him, Tom. Burnell, he missed it. Brown rebounds it. Time Three out. seconds to go, and the Cajuns will have the last shot. Looks one of a timeout. His players didn't see him. Burnell took it baseline, had a makeable shot, even though he had good defense. And we'll see what Pascal has in mind. The worst he can get now, of course, is overtime at home. Right. Of course, we'll see if we can get a replay on that last field goal attempt by Barnell. It looked like about a 15-foot jumper from the left baseline. Right. Deion Brown comes down with maybe his biggest rebound of the year as he was in there battling Reddick and Mims. Here we see the replay as the Hatters are trying to buy up some of the time. At this point, they're... They were trying to get a timeout. Their coach was trying to get their attention, didn't get it. Burnell went to the corner. There's a the pass. He tried to go baseline, put up a 15-footer. Dion with the rebound. The Cajuns got a quick timeout. And here we stand with three seconds to go. And the Cajuns had the last shot to win it. Burnell didn't get a good jump on his shot. It looked like his legs got spread as Warner was trying to, to draw the foul. And may have been a little bit off balance. Luckily for the Cajuns, it didn't fall. But, of course, now they've got just three seconds to get it up court. Tom, the Cajuns have called another timeout. They're going, they're going to use an additional timeout to try to set up the last shot. They got a look at Stetson walking back on the floor. It looked like they were going to set up some semi-pressure. I don't know if they're going to go with a full man-to-man, -man, but they definitely want to pressure the ball a little bit, not let him get good pass three-quarters of the way down. And, get off you know a 15 to 20 foot shot they're gonna try to pressure it make the Cajuns have to throw it in the backcourt I'm sure I think what I'd do is give it to Alonzo let him dribble the course half court and shoot that jump shot he hit at the end of the first half yeah. that would be incredible if Alonzo Allen hits a shot I tell like you, he did at the end of the first half <laughs> that shot looms pretty big right now without that 35 footer yeah. we, we'd be needing this basket really Bad. Without the shot before the half, we'd be playing for a tie. We might, even, we might not even be playing for a tie. Unofficially, uh, Warner is leading the way for the Cajuns with 22 tonight. Cajuns' leading scorer, Deion Brown, has been totally shut down with only two points, and that bucket came very early in the contest. Stetson will set up some semi-pressure. The Cajuns will go with Allen, Warner, Collins, Gay, and Brown. Three seconds showing on the clock, and it looks like they're just going to run it up court. Well, there's a semi-pressure. They're going to allow him to throw it in the backcourt. There's the pass. A goal. Nice. Unbelievable. a play designed for Collins, I doubt it very seriously. But you'd think the Cajuns just won the NCAA championship. They're, ca they're carrying Johnny Collins off the court. <laughs> what a shot. That's not a very hard thing to do. Johnny's not that big. Here we're going to get a chance to look at the replay, Tom. Of course, Stetson leaves the court very dejected. There. Here's the replay. Johnny got the ball about three quarters away in the backcourt. He just drove it right into the top of the key. Threw up a running right-hander, and it hit nothing but the bottom. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> there it is. J.C. Johnny Collins. Everyone has a big moment. Johnny has just had it for his basketball career. Tom, Game I, winner at the buzzer. I believe they expected him to pass the ball off to somebody. Kind of left the lane open, and... He saw the opening and just went and got the basket. I'm sure Johnny expected to pass it off to someone, too. 
JC hits it at the buzzer. The Cajuns win it 71-69. Stetson played a whale of a ball game. The Hatters are tough, and I know Bobby Pascal does not look at all forward to going to Deland, Florida, and playing Stetson on their home court. Tom, you have to give Stetson a lot of credit. That basketball team hung tough. There were uh, numerous opportunities in the ball game where they could have just shut it down and with 11 down, 9 down, but they kept hanging in, fighting back. And, you know, ha they had the last uh, last shot to win it, really. And then the Cajuns ended up with the ball and got the shot. Here's a replay again One more of Johnny time, Collins. Johnny Collins with three seconds to go, gets it, takes it all the way in. We'll give him credit for 17 feet officially. The shot heard around Acadiana as Collins hits it at the buzzer. Our final score once again, USL 71, Stetson 69. Our thanks to Louis Cook, a fantastic job sitting in on the color commentary tonight in place of Rich Shoebrooks, who we hope to have back with us soon in the next year or so. No, only kidding for Rich. Rich couldn't be here. Louis, thanks ever so much for sitting in. Great job. A little different than coaching football. Yeah, just a little bit, I tell you. It's a lot easier sitting here on the side just analyzing what's going on than being in the actual fire. But I really enjoyed being here, Tom, and I appreciate the opportunity. It was Probably Very a lot enjoyable. more relaxing than the recruiting season you're into oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, it's getting heavy right now with the signing date coming up two weeks from tomorrow. It's really getting hectic at this time. Okay, thanks again, Louie. Thank you. The Cajuns win it. They're 13th of the season, 71-69, our final score. The post-game show is next. Stay with us. You see the final score flashing there. The Cajuns win number 13 on the season, 71-69 over the Hatters of Stetson, but not before a struggle. The man of the hour for the Cajuns, no doubt about it, Johnny Collins, the point guard who got the game-winning shot at the buzzer. They were tough, weren't they? Yeah, they came out, you know, they came out real, you know, in the first half playing, you know, pressure defense. Kind of like when we got the lead, it kind of throwed us off our offense a little bit. In the second half, we came back and got things going. You know, okay. Everybody's standing around here. They want to see the replay. So do I. So let's get into it and talk about it and, and find out exactly what was planned here. Uh, the play was designed to get Grilling coming off the double screen when he didn't. Okay. You come across half yeah. court. And the man was over playing Grilling with the Grilling with the wrong way. So I just went in and I just <laughs> just took the shot. They kind of opened up the lane and Graylin got kind of high out there. Did you hear the buzzer go off at all? No, I didn't. You didn't so you didn't really know whether it was good or not until no, you had to look know. at the official? Yeah, until I looked at them and they did like this. <laughs> that was it. And then all those people were running around trying yeah. to grab you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ever had a game-winning shot before? No, that's my first one. So how does it feel? Great. Okay, you got Northeast now Thursday. That's not going to be any easy chore either. No, nah, we just got to come out, you know, and just do the things that we do well, you know, and hope they work out. Okay, you want to look at it one more time? Yeah. I want to look at it one more time. <laughs> Let's run the replay one more time. Here it is, the inbounds pass. Johnny Collins, you, you should have stopped and pulled it up from 35 like Alonzo did at the end of the half. Right inside half court was where Allen hit his. Johnny comes down through the lane. There it goes. One last little smile for the camera, huh? <laughs> you made, you've made that last shot about six times here in the last five minutes. Great game. Congratulations. Okay, thanks. Okay. Uh, we'll be back with more on the post-game show. Bobby Pascal will be along in just a second, so stay with us. We'll continue here from Blackham. The Cajuns win it, 71-69, beating Stetson. The track is back. Night and day, back-to-back, -back, all year long. With quarter horse and thoroughbred.